Holy smokes. I, that, that's just insane. <laughs> hey there, everyone. Welcome back. This insane video shows thousands of fish dropped from a plane into the Utah lakes just to try to restock them. Holy smokes. Look at all those fish. Oh, they're like flying in the air. Like, look at that. What? Looks like some of them weren't even hitting the lake there. What the? Good job. I thought bringing him by like a truck would be a little bit more easier, convenient, and they would survive a bit better, but apparently, according to this article, it states that the plane holds hundreds of pounds of water and can drop 35,000 fish in a single trip. Wildlife experts said the aerial dumps are a more effective method of stocking fish than transporting them by ground since it's difficult to maintain the animal's oxygen levels in pack tanks for long distances. I guess that makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't really look like they're actually effectively dropping all the fish into the lakes from this video what looks like some of them weren't even hitting the lake there what the good job <laughs> so anyways I came across this video and it's super cool and crazy and apparently the fish are so small they just like flutter down all the way down to the lake so they actually survive and they don't actually die from the impact which I thought they would but apparently to the experts they don't so yeah, I came across this video and I thought it was really crazy and I wanted to share it with all of you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Do you think it's an effective way to uh, transport the fish or do you think they should do it by ground and figure out how to do the oxygen or I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Also like this video, share with your friends and family so they're aware of how they actually restock the lakes and click that subscribe button down below for more. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.